I gave my cats away for you. Like how hypocrisy you are, oh my god. I gave my cats away for you. Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. Hey girl gang, what up everybody? It's so, so good to see you guys. I hope you guys had a great hump day so far. Uh, listen, our girl still in Canada. Ah, taking it day by day. I, st I still refuse to like allow myself to believe all of this but one day at a time we are now the next day and this beach is still in the country so that's a win we will take it she went live today it's of course what we're going to be watching together jamaican chicken patties lunch bees she makes the point of saying chicken patties so it's questionable is it halal is it not i'm somewhat of a patty connoisseur myself i was raised on jamaican patties those don't look like chicken patties to me. We got a good look at the innard. That looks like a standard beef patty to me. Anyway, we will see when we get to that moment in the clip, but you cannot fool me when it comes to patties. Jessica, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Therapy time, wow, have a good session. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Doesn't the opening hit different now that she's back? It sort of does, right? It's not like, oh God, what in the Kuwait bullshit are we going to watch today? It's like, what in the Canada fuck shit is going to happen today, you know? Woo! It feels like anything's possible again. And I love that for us. Ah, <sighs> anyway. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to get into it. I just want to say one thing before we get into it. And that is the plan for the twitching and the tweaking. After this stream, later on tonight, we're going to bees over there. We're going to play a little Jackbox. Tonight is about games. Tomorrow is about retro reacts. We're going to do what we did last week, just like a string of them. A whole bunch of retros, bang them all out. It was such a fun time last week. That is the plan for tomorrow on the Twitch, okay? Tonight, games. We are gamer girls tonight. And, of course, it goes without saying, if our girl gives us something worth uh, working with, and I'm sorry, now that she's in Canada, it's all worth working with. Uh, we will be live, of course, tomorrow on YouTube as well to react to the real time fuck shit, okay? Now, without further ado, let me get the tab. Maps do matter. Thank you for the super sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Noel. That's a long answer. Hi, Anna G, Paquito, Talia. Hello, Brooke, Michelle, Dirty. Everyone's coming in all at once. Ashley's World, Eritrans, Living Laura, Heather, Talia, Natalie, Drew, Cricket, Gagne, P Mac, Lauren, Maggi, Kiki, Rachel, <laughs> Joanne, Lofi. Hi, Naomi. I look smart. <laughs> um, hi, Vera, Rachel. Hi, H. All Hi. Lisa P, Kelly, Tracy, hi Tracy, Glam Gal, Noel, Mark, Kristen. It's going well. I think I have somewhere in mind. Celeste, Italian. I'm going to apply for a, for it. 
Lindsay, I, I, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Tiffany, let's get sushi. <laughs> okay, maybe someday, Laura. Pooh, hello. One of these, golden girl. Kiki, kiki, kiki. You're at Costco. Oh my gosh, good luck. <laughs> Vanna, Trixie, H Alt. Oh, thank you, H Alt. That's very nice of you. Thank you so much. I missed all you guys. Thank you, H Alt. One of the trolls, possibly in her chat, maybe. Who the fuck said she looks smart? It's got to be a troll. For mental health, I choose to believe this person is not genuine. It has to have been a troll. Uh, and by the way, just yesterday when we were talking, somebody had asked the question about who was the Holy Trinity. And I answered. And at the end of it, I don't know what I said something. That is what. Oh, shit. I forget exactly how I said it at the end. Something like that is what we used to call what we used to be called. Instead of that is what we used to call them. So, of course, the dumb asses of the Internet. I was part of the, the Holy Trinity, of course, because I fucked up my words there and said that's what we used to be called. Like I was live constantly while she was live, for example, during crack at Olympics. All those three motherfuckers were live in her chat. Anyway, this community just grasping for anything fuck it was just the fuckery with the words use your brain sometimes sheep god damn it swamp boogie sue thank you for the super chat girl yeah i think i found a place but i'm not going to tell you about it just yet Naughty boy. i have the best patties ever right so ever more thank you for the super chat i don't know my sleeping is messed up okay so first to drink today i have i don't know what this is colombiana but it's really cold cola flavor what does that mean i always say that hi tangerine Lindsay, 34 months loyalty bees are canada bees yes thank you Lindsay. that's a lifetime 34 months. if you're a hamster it's a lifetime thanks Lindsay. bismillah doesn't have a mo yeah yeah i'm italian in canada doesn't have much flavor not right now tiffany dawn maybe a later Hey, Xteen's Keto. Thank you for the super chat. Girl. Storm, I know. This is chicken. Bismillah. Show us the inner. What's a burnout? Thanks, always. <laughs> Vanessa. How come normally when she takes a bite of something, she shows you the inner? That has been a habit on her channel forever, right? Takes the bite, shows you. We never want to see the inside of her food, but she always shows us the inside of her food. Now she's talking about a chicken patty, but doesn't show the innard. And she's taken one bite, and look how much chicken patty is already on her shirt, for the love of God, man. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Hi, creepy. Oh, you too. Have a great day. Tiffany. Oh, no. Are you okay? Hi, Monica. Welcome, Salam. Um, Shaquille. Hey, Mike. How are you? Brenda. I'm eating Jamaican chicken patties. Age old. Hi, Master Shredder. Your membership? Oh, no, Tiffany. Oh, that's okay. I mean, if you're in the hospital, come on. I just wish you well. Yeah, it's like an empanada, kind of. MMJ? No. Damn it. She, she just ate it off of her shirt. Oh, there is so much of the pastry on her shirt right now. And she picks it up and puts it in her mouth and then goes, get, 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 get. Just, just getting it all over the key. You just sank two grand into that piece of shit. Why don't you not add like patty to the upholstery for a few days? My God. What a I mess. Pass. I know you're going to think. Uh, There's still patty on there. Like I explained yesterday, I have to take medications that, like, I need to drink water. Um, I tried fasting, and I just, like, felt so dizzy because, like, I couldn't drink water. And I have, like, how am I going to take my medications? Like, I can't do Shut up. Shut the fuck up, martyr. Fake martyr. Faking her bullshit. You, you can stop the cosplay now. You're back in Canada, okay? You lied to us all in Kuwait. You never fasted, but you pretended that you did for salad or for whatever reason. And now it's, well, how am I going to take my medication? The medication that you brought with you from Kuwait, that you were prescribed in Kuwait, that you were taking in Kuwait. How am I going to take my medication? The victim. Oh, golden goddess of the geeks. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Do it, you know.
but I don't want to talk about my fasting because people judge me, you know, but so I just kind of avoided it. Like I didn't want to rub it in, but like, you're going to see me eating. So I have to tell you. Hi, Gemini Jim. You, you know that you could have just gotten the chicken patties, <sighs> uh, chicken and ate them and not done this stream. We don't have to see you eat. You insist that we have to see you eat. There was absolutely zero reason for you to be doing this stream while eating your patties. You could have eaten the patties, stepped out of the vehicle, dusted yourself off, and then started the live stream. Pasta Kiki. <laughs> They're so good. These, I don't know. So this is my... I'm just going to say another thing as the, <clears throat> a patty aficionado. Uh, uh, normally where the, the bakeries, let's say where they make patties and stuff, they, they tend to put a little dot on them or a little mark when it's the chicken patty. Normally there'll be a little dot and you can kind of see the innards, the, the spice coming out as it cooked from that little dot. It, it kind of stains the pastry around it. And that normally is the sign of a chicken patty. They dot the chicken patties and the beef patties have no mark on them. I don't see any mark on that patty. Isn't that interesting? Deep fried dreams. Thank you for the super chat. My lunch. <laughs> Just leave me alone right now. Oh, did you like it? Italian tidbits, the airline? No, I'm not getting the mansion. You know how much that costs? That, the fact that I didn't get that house was is there a cop here yeah wicked crafter thank you for the super chat of course we know this was the conversation we had yesterday it wasn't about the names it was about a word that i used after saying who they were the three of them instead of saying that's what we used to call them i said something like that's what we used to be called so the morons in this fucking community ran with that all day today with, oh, she confessed it. She was what she slipped. She's one of the Holy Trinity. No, she misspoke. <laughs> and that's all it was yesterday. I was answering the question of who were the three of them in the Holy Trinity. Pull her pin up. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, good point. There's like an official. Okay. With divine intervention. You know, there's a piece of patty right now on her hijab. There's patty still all over the outer part of what she's wearing, the shirt part of what she's wearing. She, every bite she takes, she dusts herself, but it's not going anywhere. Suzanne, thank you for the super chat. Her eyeglasses, hand, you, right? Look at how high up they are. Look at where they sit, like, on her forehead and not on the top of her nose. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, well, it, it's not that it's, it's not the difficulty. It's that I have medical issues, like I do. Oh, shut up, medical and if you can't issues. fast, then, like, if you have medical issues and you can't fast, then you're excused on it. Yeah, it's nice, eh, Italian? I know I look weird. So if you have medical issues, you're exempt from fasting, which is 100% true. Uh, however, you're not exempt from all the other parts, let's say, of Ramadan. You're getting high during the day. You're making a spectacle of the eating during the day. You're certainly not reflecting any on anything. You're live streaming like the asshole that you are. You're not reading the Quran. You're not doing anything. It's more than just the fasting. I think she thinks Ramadan equals fasting and there's nothing else to it at all. Disgusting. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I bought some new clothes, but they're kind of big. I bought a size up. Tiger on Vaseline. I'm having one right now, Bish. Thank you for the super chat. My, my head's peeking up. Mm, ginger beer? I never tried it. Thanks, Anna. Natalie, I have to practice the way I practice and not have to answer to anybody. 
That's it. That's it. That's not how this works. Practice the way you want to practice. You don't get to join a religion and then dictate the way that it's practiced. That's not how that works. If you just wanted to practice religion in your own way and whatever, be all nonchalant about it, there was no need for you to convert to any other religion because you didn't really participate as a Christian either. You could have just said that you didn't need to cosplay. You didn't need to try and manipulate somebody with their religion, you know? That's all. Nut salsa? Uh, no. Jab Crumb, thank you for the super chat. Hmm? Oh, anyway, hi, GH. <laughs> I look like a librarian. What section of book are you looking for? <laughs> really, she cute? I find I look like I'm like my like 50, <laughs> if I'm honest. So, Gemini Gem, member for 25 months. Yeah, yeah. Listen, she could have done a lot of things, but, but choosing to, I, I don't know become a diff a totally different religion you chose to take that shahada and and take the plunge right just to manipulate somebody it didn't have to be done she didn't have to do a goddamn thing at all you're born into christianity like it's like i said i never judge someone who's born into a religion and chooses to practice it in their own way because like you're born into it it's not your choice at just under 40 years old to make that choice, to go this far, to have the hijab, like the hijab, you cannot say to me that you follow so little of Islam, but the hijab is that important to you. The hijab is not important to her. The hijab is only important to her because it covers up her hideous bald head. That is why she sticks to this part of the cosplay. She's high eating Last night it was pork. Right now it's non-halal beef. Doing whatever the fuck she wants. Making a mockery out of everything. About to move back in with her ex-boyfriend, uh, fiance, excuse me. And still hiding behind a hijab and talking about religion. Saying bismillah. Bismillah before she takes the ha uh, haram bite. She's got to cut the shit. You know what I mean? It's too much. Sarah Bear, thank you for the super chat, girl. Loyalty visa, hi. <laughs> Thank you. Ready, set, freebies. Thank you, Gemini Gem. I can't believe how long some of you guys have been here with me. Feral girl. Thank you for the super chat. Fat. Her face is too fucking fat. She buys normal people glasses. She needs to buy fatty frames. She refuses to. She goes, me? A morbidly obese face? I'm only chubby. I don't need fatty frames. So she buys normal frames, and this is how she wears them. Halfway up her forehead. What well, love this on the rain? Hello. Hell yeah, Mandy. She certainly does. Thank you for the super chat roll. Sorry, my notifications. I look happier. I'm just tired right now. Usually it takes like a few days for my body to readjust. Like after sitting on a flight for like 14 hours even just like after like five six hours my legs start to oh my god I, t I totally forgot of something yesterday this is somewhat of a sidebar did anybody else see that eg possibly got doxxed the fuck out of and that eg may be purple glitter did anybody else see that on the farms or on twitter either way because people brought it from the farms to twitter but it was on the farms did anybody else see that does it seem bloody fucking likely to anybody else? Do you remember how obsessed Purple Glitter? Purple Glitter, way back when I started my channel, okay, started DMing me. And I told you guys this story years ago. And she was like, ooh, I'm a beezer. Oh, and she, it was like she wanted to play both sides from a long, long time ago. That was Purple Glitter, okay? Purple Glitter got doxxed. First initial E, last initial G. That's all I'm going to say. It's on the farms. You can see it yourself. It's on the Monty, um, what, what would you call it? The Monty like thread, I guess, on Kiwi Farms. It seems legit to me. And then the way she has flipped the fuck out in response to that makes it seem even more fucking likely. She is such a weird, weird fucking pick me. It makes so much goddamn sense to me. She was in that chat 
under three names now that we know of. If if EG is correct, because I already knew she was two different characters in Chantal's chat when my channel started. It seems so bloody likely. It's so, so fucking freaky to me. I don't know. I don't know. We will discuss this again tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Give everybody a chance to, to see it for themselves. I'm obviously not going to post it up here. I'm not going to like open up the page here. It's 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 through like a docs and I'm not giving her that kind of uh, attention over here. And I'm certainly not going to dox anybody, but highly recommend y'all. You have to see just her, her meltdown to what was posted. Fuck what was posted. It's her reaction to it, to me, that gives the whole thing away. Hilarious. Well, my, I don't know. It's like I had compression socks on, but my legs feel so stiff and swollen after for about three days. Oh, Applebee's like, that's horrible. But that's, that's part of the sick thing that in my brain, as I sat back and like thought about like, could this be possible? I was like, yes, because she had three characters going at once in the chat. She had one that was just, you know, like, a, like a calm, let's say observer. Then there was the purple glitter one who was always looking for Chantal's attention. And then there was EG. It was like, it was like three different personalities going on. You know what I mean? It definitely could be. Uh, yes, hijab cheese. We are going to be playing later tonight after the stream. I'm going to install the day in my apartment. Uh, okay, she who shits herself. Thank you for the super chat. I wouldn't say EG was one of the funnier trolls. What was crazy about EG was that EG would take some jabs and always got away with it. Even when like EG would get blocked, EG would get unblocked the very next day. Very much like a Beezer Beauty. Remember, Beezer Beauty was the same scenario. She would get blocked. She would always be like the first one unblocked, if not the second one, because it was EG. EG got away with murder. And... It's too bad my archive does not have the chat also. I want to go back and see her three personalities, like talking to each other and stuff. That's so crazy. EG was a great troll, just like Beezer Beauty, in my opinion. Beezer, 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 Beezer Beauty is one of the best trolls that has ever trolled in Chantal's chat. Because she insulted the shit out of Chantal. <laughs> If you really like look at the things she was saying to Chantal, she got away with so much in that chat and she would always be unblocked. And yeah, everybody did love EG. Exactly. EG was such a, a chance taker in that chat. EG would take some jabs. And again, just like the bees are beauty, always get unblocked. Always one of the first to be unblocked. It's crazy to think when I first read it on the forums, I was like, nah, it can't be like EG was too good to be her. But she's completely psychotic and capable of, oh, God, a lot of crazy things. I wouldn't put it past her, put it that way. And again, it was seeing her reaction to what they posted on Kiwi Farms. It's like, oh, she, you better shut up. You're like, you're kind of giving it away, in my opinion. Anyway, like I said, we will rediscuss this tomorrow. If you have a chance, go to the farms. It's on the Monty thread. And uh, yeah, I want to I wanna know what you guys think tomorrow about this. I'm parked in the same spot as yesterday. Yeah, for now I have no choice. Joanne R, you suit blue. Thank you, Joanne R. <laughs> That's nice of you. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I'm like. Hi, Taylor. Marimar, what am I doing here? Mm. Yeah, I'll go for a walk. Mm, I'll pass. No, I'm kidding. Porch lock my aw. Those were a nice gesture. No, the chicken wraps were not a nice gesture. Why waste the food? <laughs> Monica, these are so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Purple glitter. That shit crazy. Like I said, while you're over at the Monty thread, read back if you don't know the lore of Monty and purple glitter and like, oh my God. Cuckoo, completely, completely insane, that one. Kalari, thank you for the super chat, girl. Brooke, if you can take a wild guess, I'll be so proud of you. 
Why do you think I have to be, be careful in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> I landed on, on April 1st, Italian. April 1st. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't think she landed on the 1st. I think she was here on her birthday. Because they just she said something yesterday, and yesterday was the second, and it was about calling and speaking to a dumbass every day since she's been gone to check up on the animals. The way she said every day, that didn't seem like it's only been a day. She's saying she got on the got here on the first. I don't believe it. I do think she was here for her birthday. Will you arrive in Rome? Oh, I hope you had a good trip. It is long, I can imagine. Nice week, Ephron. I get Sam when I move into my place. What? People have taken pictures of me. How can you say that? Hi, Lois. Get over yourself. <laughs> it's literally not in my head. I'm not usually paranoid. But, jeez. I'm not going to say, like, Ottawa or Cornwall just now. She doesn't want to disclose her location. She's not admitting if she's in Ottawa or Cornwall. <laughs> I know that that backdrop looks oddly familiar, just like the last time that you were here. I can't remember where you were her last time. Oh, that's right. It was Cornwall. <laughs> Girl, stop. We know. We know. I don't know. You're trying to be like international man of mystery, but you're clearly in the corn. Like, go and park somewhere a little more like, oh, it could be here. It could be there. I don't know. You stupid. Or maybe somewhere else. <laughs> it's been forever. <laughs> Strumming Sam. Who said that she went to see Koki? In all caps in the chat. No, she didn't go to see Koki. Who said that she went to see Koki? She's eating a Jamaican patty. What does that have to do with Koki? Nothing. She did not go and see Koki. She will. When this relationship is 100% over. But for now, she's still wearing the hijab. She's still clinging to hope. There's no Koki visits. Well, if it's where I want to go. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my gosh. Give me a minute, okay? Because this thing wants to fall off. I need a new sticky. <laughs> <laughs> having a wardrobe malfunction <laughs> because the patties look like shitty <laughs> it must have been Koki that made them it's good logic but remember she is in Cornwall everything's a little shitty in Cornwall you have to have that baseline of like Cornholio don't forget where we are right don't expect miracles it's fucking Cornwall and if Koki had made them, they'd be falling apart. They'd be the wrong color and completely raw meat inside. Let's be real. <laughs> Can we mob bees? Not a word about Mr. Snowflake yet. Around with my hijab insecure life. Yeah, not secure. Thanks, Lola. Ooh, wait, who put that in the chat? You can see her bald head. True Bat Pondu. Interesting. Where's her widow's peak? We should be seeing some hair by now. I'm not kidding. Where is her widow's peak? She said she's let it grow out. There is the widow's peak. Where is it? We should see it by now. Interesting. Is she just keep shaving her head? Is she bald again? So, I was, yeah, out doing errands. And I thought there's one errand I have to do with the bees. I have to... Get the Jamaican eyes. <laughs> so, like, some people have asked me about a health journey. Basically, when it goes well, you'll probably know about it. If it's so, we're we're never gonna talk about it again, ever. <laughs> Got it. Okay. How dare you? 
She wishes. She wishes. The whole point of the Doja Cat era is that Doja Cat is fucking gorgeous and looks adorable no matter what hair she has on. This heifer even tarted up like an inflatable fuck doll, an obese inflatable fuck doll. She still looked like shit she, in her Doja Cat era. Oh, Christine, thank you for the super chat, girl. Thank you for being here. It's not so well. You'll know about it. Hmm? Yeah. And her shirt. Look yeah. at her shirt. I can't. Oh, what a perfect pause. That's what you call a pause. Look at her. She just took the time to put her hand in front of her mouth, trying to be what, cutesy poo? I'm just so dainty. I'm a little dainty lady. Look at half of a patty on your fucking titty right now. Ma'am, here's another thing. Either raise that camera up or wear a bra out in public. Haram. That is just... It is Ramadan, for God's sakes. Pull her pin up. Thank you for the super chat. It really is. that. I can't even imagine the smell in that goddamn car. Can you imagine the poor suckers who had to work on that car and the smell is just wafting, like hitting you in the face? Ugh. Nevermore, thank you for the super chat. Look at the curve of her skull against the hijab. The only hair there is imaginary. Yikes. It's true. Where's the hair? She, she claims her hair is pretty long under there now and yada, yada, yada. Where is it? There's no hair there. It's like a cue ball under there. Like, like she shaves with a razor and shaving cream under there. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. She's going to have, ooh, me have to make, oh, my mouth is like watering. <laughs> One of my absolute favorite foods. I was brought up on the patties. Oh my God, it's such a staple where I grew up. Holy crap. I think I have to unblock a lot of people, don't I? You know? <laughs> Black puppet. I know it's all. Okay, I'm done eating. Now I can talk. Hey, Angel's Beauty. Rock my bees. Living life? I don't remember them. Really? Were they something else before? I'm not going to put a wig over the hijab. I was eating patties, meat patties. Why not put a wig over the hijab? At this point, the whole thing is just a game to you anyway. Put a wig over it. Like, what difference would it make? You're still wearing the hijab, technically. Jesus. Amy, thank you for the super chat. She just put on the hijab for video, and the chins are spilling out. <laughs> oh, that neck. I mean, the chins really are spilling out. We're being very liberal with the chins ever since returning to Canada, eh? Chris, didn't you hear my plane nightmare? Thanks, Anna. <clears throat> I wouldn't get Sam if I wasn't staying. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, I left on a very down note. And I just got homesick. Because whenever you get accustomed to something, leaving it is hard no matter what it is. Even when I was in Katimovic and I had to leave. Oh, God. After only like, was it seven and, a half, seven and a half months or something? Excuse me. I was traumatized. I was like, I don't want to leave you guys. And now like a year and a half, like my pets... It's like my heart's broken if I'm here. My heart's broken if I'm over there sometimes because I miss some things here. Shh. You're back for weed in your Kia and drive throughs And the fact that you can eat your making patties while wearing no bra and live in the Kia. Let's be real. You miss some things over here. You're not, you're not ever homesick for anything besides like the weed and the food over here. And you're not really homesick for over there either because that doesn't feel like home to you. You want to be here, but you want your cake and you want to eat it too. You want to be here and you want that dumbass also to be here. But that can't happen, can it? I really, really do believe still that her visa was just denied. It is what it is. And for as long as she can't get back there, she'll be here. The minute she can leave, the minute she gets like another visa, psh, she's gone. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. She really is. So, no, I'm never leaving Sam. How can you say you're never really leaving Sam if your being here isn't permanent? It. Uh, she doesn't know what the hell she's doing. 
I don't know that she's going to get back Sam. I really don't think she'll get back Sam. I really think this is some kind of to, to like bullshit the audience. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat, girl. What Applebee's? Sorry, Mimi Pondu. Yeah, they're really good, the meat patties. You guys should try them. <sighs> the what patties? She just called it a meat patty. I don't call chicken meat. Beef is meat. Chicken is chicken. She had called it a chicken patty up until just now where she just slipped. Meat patty, don't you say, Chantal. Mm. Whatever they had ready, I took them. You can buy them by the box, but don't have an oven right now. Drink the drink is not that great. I don't like it. Reginald, you're doing the right thing. You're probably replacing. Well, that's the thing. Like, if I came back here, like, the thing is, is if I came back here, like, for my health, you know? I have to actually take care of that. <laughs> and it's just over. Hmm. Me, Jeezy? I hope I said that right, girl. Thank you for the super chat. She became Muslim so she could marry Salad over there on a tourist visa. That was the loophole. You think? Hmm. Could be. Makes sense. Overwhelming right now. All, all the things I have to do to correct my life. You know? <sighs> so... When all I really feel like doing is honestly bed rotting and watching movies like Motel Hell and eating junk food, which I know is not, that's not a way to live all the time. You can live like that sometimes. So that gives me hope. <laughs> yeah, Angela. Rexham, thank you for the super chat. Well, I would hope they would kick her fat ass out of there if she tried. Oh, yeah, I want a coffee. Speaking of which, not from Starbucks, but I do want, honestly, I'm craving a chocolate cream cold brew from starbucks if i'm honest but no i need there's so many other coffee places around here i can go i think does okay. like which one give us an example of a coffee place that's around you there's one starbucks and then there's a million and a half tim hortons stop it cornhole i think what's around it's like fr cold and rainy here for the walk you here for the modest art? Sometimes it's hard to hear me. I do have microphones. Should I wear one? I don't know anything about like when salads come in, etc. Don't have much information. Sorry. Right now I'm just uh, here trying to live my life. Hey, Jen Marie. Thank you. Tim Hortons. Source of the patties? Mr. T, they have good Jamaican patties at Sharon's Pantry in the Wall Court. Interesting. Do they serve them in those little white bags? Like she just had hers. It was served in a little white bag. I wonder. <laughs> Not that I wonder too hard because like you can tell where she's parked right now if you know the area. It's like she's such a fucking idiot. <laughs> Soup Not C, thank you for the Super Jag rule. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pin it onto my shirt like that. Oh God, that's there we go. <laughs> oh. Can you hear me? What? There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't matter. Pixie, thank you for the super chat, but Cornwall's a little place, don't you know? They would know a deaf, fat Muslim uh, wearing a hijab and waddling. And if they saw it, if it was the Beezer show, Foodie Beauty, or any other name she would like to choose for herself. Well, I don't know why, because, yeah. In my life, there's been heartache and pain. Remember that song? I don't know if I can face it again. <laughs> I want to know what love is. Always sings her life. I want to know what love is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. Justine, thank you for the super chat. Why doesn't she have an oven? Well, because she's staying at someone's house. And uh, I don't know. I would guess she's staying at Uncle Phil's. Does Uncle Phil have a functioning oven? Who the fuck does? I don't know. The breathing, is it heavy? <sighs> <clears throat> Do 
to Midwest, you mean, you mean Middle East. Okay. Every breath you make. I want you to show me yes because he fits. We can hear the huge. Okay. This thing is awful. <laughs> when chubby chub. I think it would look so weird if I like didn't have hijab on. Like you wouldn't my it would take time for you to adjust to like getting used to how my face is fat and chubby. <laughs> You're calling that chubby? Your face is ready to bust out of that thing, chubby. The nerve of you. Oh my gosh, this is gonna fall. <sighs> no. <clears throat> I can't be on long. I got to get a new thing here. It's in the black. And this is my new <laughs> job of blue. Yeah, I have a lot of navy blue. <clears throat> hey, carved up. I don't know. My hair is like maybe to here, <laughs> but it's thin. Your hair is not to there. Stop it. Where's, where, where's your widow's peak? You said you had a widow's peak, and we know it's thin. I can't even imagine how thin it is now. It's been so long since she shaved her head. I can't imagine how much more she's lost. Where's your widow's peak? Where's your hair? You're lying. Fucking hell, man. Go, let's go out and dumpster diving when it's nice out. Well, here's the thing. Someone said that it was hard to hear me, so I've tried the microphones, but... Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Much better? <laughs> They're loose pants. Did I forget my phone at Pennington's? Love dumpster diving. Yeah, but it's it's we're getting a snowstorm. Um, well, it's supposed to get a little snowstorm, and it's very cold and rainy right now. Can't you hear the rain? Makeup? Yeah, I didn't feel like putting makeup on today, but I can at some point. You can put the microphone next to the road and drive by. <laughs> I'm not cricket. The astronaut dress was my favorite. Which one was that? Astronaut dress? What is that? Hi, Colleen. 18th, what? Hey, Jessica. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Yeah. Oh, the glitter dress. Hold on, she turned her volume down again. Is she too low now? Because I had turned her volume down. You tell me. I can turn her up a little bit if it's too low. Thick. Oh, the black and white. What? I'm glowing? No. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what to talk about. I'm just trying to read your comments. Hi, Rosalia. If you don't know what to talk about, why the fuck are you live? You're just sitting there reading their comments. This is what I hate. Come on, man. You've been back for like, I mean, a few days, but <clears throat> it's only your second thing you're doing since you're back. You got to give us something. God damn it, shop doll. Drive somewhere. Go somewhere. I don't care. Anything at this point. You have nothing to talk about. You're just reading the chat. What a, what riveting content you put out. Ruthie, thank you for the super chat. Why do her CPAP lights stay all day now? Maybe her failing health. Maybe lack of hydration to the skin. Maybe a combination of everything. I don't know. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. How did she look like a grandma and a toddler at the same time? Oh my God, you're right. She's got the Benjamin Buttons shit in reverse, sort of. <laughs> Kim D, thank you for the super sticker, girl. Thanks, Reginald. Hey, Paul. Traveling rain all day. Oh, no. The yellow dress. Thanks, Anna. I miss a leprechaun dress. That fell victim to meth goblin. Oh, yeah, I liked that dress. Hi, Marcia. You guys shopping? Thanks, Colleen. Where should I go? <laughs> yeah, I'm color. What is your favorite genre of music? 
I don't, I don't really have a favorite genre. But basically, I guess anything that's like I don't know. I like songs from all genres, except like modern country, probably. I like like um nineties alt rock. I don't know. I like I that Benjamin like, Glutton, perfect. Go to Torrid. Also the Paneer vendors. Oh, I love Paneer. I want to get some. Anyway, I don't know. It's too like rainy. I want to go for walks and things, but whenever it's nicer, I suppose. Yes, I'm Muslim. Country drive. So I have to actually like put into place a plan, no matter how overwhelming it is to try to organize myself, my life. For me, it's so hard. I just, I don't know. My brain like doesn't function well when it comes to those kinds of things. I left all my abayas there except for my Jill bow. I took that with me. Hey, that's not playing. You can do it. Thanks, GH. She doesn't even bring one with her. That's very weird. I know. I'm not saying to, you know, wear it every day or anything. It's not the culture here or whatever. But you would think you would bring one. Last visit, I remember she also didn't bring one. And I thought it was weird that she didn't even bring one then either. I don't know. You show your family. You do, show them how you've been living for a year and a half. You would think someone would be interested to see that. I don't know. Isabella, thank you for the super chat rule. Excuse me. Don't buy much stuff. No. True. Well, I cup salon, Sarah Jean. Yeah. Why did I change my name back? Because I, sorry, I changed my 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 name. I changed my mind a lot of things, and I feel like more like Foodie Beauty is more in my brand. You know, like it has. Now it's back to her brand a few days ago. Didn't she say Foodie Beauty was dead? Never, ever going to come back? Jay days ago. But now it's her brand. <laughs> we know. <laughs> it's more of a past, but so what? Everyone has a past. <laughs> Thank you, Nats Not Playing. The sound of rain. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. I have a question according to heather why did you originally upload a profile pic of you without the wedding going and also not to mention being married like honestly let's be totally okay so actually yeah, i wanted to address that because i keep seeing people say that basically the profile picture um i took it that picture when i was in canada last time when i got that new sweater and i had my ring off at the time and i didn't think about it you know it happens like i do that sometimes so i did the picture i sent it to salah to show him the picture and he noticed right away he's like no ring you know and i was like oh yeah sorry babe so i went and got the ring put it on <laughs> no he was i made him sound rude no he was just like there's no you forgot your ring babe kind of thing you know <laughs> but i'm doing that for dramatic effect anyway so then um i put the ring on and took another picture so you can see that obviously they're slightly different so i just forgot my ring in the first one he reminded me of that and i went and put it back on so then i changed my entire description I don't think he gives a damn. I think she took the picture, realized, oh, crap, I'm not wearing the ring, took another picture. It makes sense. This theory, Donna, makes a lot of sense. Someone had a theory that she left all her clothes behind because they got refused entry on a border run. That makes a lot of sense. Let's say they do cross the border. I forget. Where, where did they used to drive to cross the border? They had done that drive once. I forget. Forgive me. And then they're not allowed back in. So she can't come exactly and like pack a bag, can she? I guess we'll see. She said she's put together or she's putting together a video of her like travel here. Let's let's see what's with her. Let's see what suitcase she's got. Let's ooh, let's see. Hmm. Nevermore. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Is she missing a tooth next to the snaggle tooth? Is it a new loss? Oh. This, this is a good question. I want to try and see when her mouth opens a little bit. Hmm. It's Qatar? Okay. Ooh, that would be really interesting, eh? Hmm. Because, it's for, like, for the Foodie Beauty, when I became Foodie Beauty again, because when I did Everyday Miriam, I wanted to be, like, more about religion and, you know, my, my journey as a revert. And then that just like became like overwhelming. It's like, I just felt like, you know, judged a lot, not judged a lot, but like, well that guess, but that wasn't like the main motivator. 
I guess I just kind of grew tired of it, if I'm honest. Like, it's not content that I really, it's like, I missed beezing. Like, I missed, like, the foodie beauty kind of content. So I didn't put anything, and I didn't want it to have anything to do with my religion. Not very much, like, little mentions, but not, like, a focus, you know, as a revert. Like, I wanted to keep, like, my religious beliefs private because it's really just between me and Allah, you know? So that's... So you turned it into content, brought it to your channel, and then had something to say when someone had something to say about it. Right. Because it's just between you and Allah. Got it. That's why I wanted to do that. I didn't, I didn't erase the religion because that's I don't believe in anything anymore. Like I said, like once I saw the signs and I believe in God, it's not something I can go back. I can go away from. But sometimes people do stray from their religion. Like when I was Catholic, I whoa, when I was Catholic. Oh, my God. Hold on. Speaking. Of, hold on. I never, ever went to church. Okay. Like ever. It's just not. It doesn't matter. You can't compare the two things. It's apples and oranges. The religion you were born into is not the religion you chose to jump into at 39 years old to manipulate some man to fake marry you. Stop the shit. It is not the same. Same? Same. Something I enjoyed. I didn't do it. But I didn't really feel religious at the time, but... <sighs> The f if I have to work on my devoutness, if I have to, like, do things, you know, I have to do them on my own time and, you know, so. Thanks, Daisy. Spencer, thank you for the super chat. She really does. I don't even believe in uncovering it. Yeah, there's moments where that make you question your faith. Of course, half late. Oops. Silva, yeah, hello. There's moments in life, like, if, you know something devastating happens to you and you know maybe for you guys it was a joke but for me it wasn't right so I was like hurt by that and I was like like what you know you just question like really because like I don't know I do sometimes just question it it's normal and it's like no one's business you know what I mean Stacy. no we don't know what you mean know what you mean it is our business again you turned it into content for your channel you don't get to go yoink now. It's none of our business. You shouldn't have used it as content. You just, not long ago, you, you had a performance of you fake praying in your home and then fake reading the Quran. You're full of shit, Chantal. You can't use that as content and then get this pissed when anyone has anything to say about it and stop trying to compare when you were Catholic versus now. It's not the same. I'm so sick of this topic for fuck's sake, man. Just Stop talking about Islam altogether. Can't you just sit there in your fucking hijab and shut the hell up about the rest of it? What? Uh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> in your relationship with God is yours. It's very personal. Yeah, true. Hissy fits. That's all I'll say about that. Thanks, Nat's not playing. Uh... Yeah, they do. You do turn to God in your hardest moments too, half light. But sometimes you question the existence of God. A lot of people do that. It's totally normal. Oh, well, now again, now because she wants to get high while she's here, she's questioning God. Oh, I'm getting mad. I hate this shit. Do you think she brought the Quran with her to Canada? Absolutely not. But I would love to see someone ask her that in her chat. Hmm? Think about it. It's Ramadan. She had that long journey to Canada and stuff. It would have been a perfect thing to pack with her, to pass the time, read the Quran. It is one of the things you're supposed to do during Ramadan, right? I bet you anything she does not have it with her. Like, <laughs> what's your point? I'm not free from Salah. I don't start bad-mouthing him. Like, let's just not talk about him at all. Thank you. Nah, see, it doesn't work like that either. Again, you brought him to the channel. We all found out he's a scat man. Now we have things to say. <clears throat> you don't get to control what other people talk about on the internet. And I guess if you don't like them talking about it, you could block them. Oh, no, wait, you can't, though, can you? Because you're broke. Got it. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay. Yeah, I believe in God. But sometimes, like, if you go through, sometimes it, there's been times where I've gone through something so difficult. Like, when my grandmother passed, I was, like, you know, angry and stuff like that, you know. But in the end, yeah, of course. 
I don't think a CPAP is a good indicator, though, because even if they had just driven across the border for the visa run, the CPAP would have been with her. That wouldn't have been a problem. You know, they still have to stay like overnight. She she could have definitely had the CPAP with her. With all likelihood, she did. Hmm. I don't know. Cherry Berry, thank you for the super chat. Does she realize that people can participate in religion for the community of it? No, she, she doesn't understand that at all community what's that we don't know her friends circle of of acquaintances with you know uh the same i don't know this religion the same fucking hobbies the same interests the same. no no absolutely not we're here for chantal our opinion still has a relevant cynthia yes thank you the jedi religion <laughs> questioning is normal and healthy I don't know. People are going to say that. But, like, I think people from this part of the world, like, a lot of people think that, you know, Middle Eastern men or Arab men, they have this, like, um, stereotype. There's a stereotype out there that they're controlling. That's why. That's why probably people think that, you know. But. Yeah, Trixie. Yes, I'm still married. <laughs> married! I am, yeah. If that ever changes, I mean, I would probably, I'd have to tell you guys, but I don't have That's a weird way to say that. If that ever changes, I would have to tell you guys. Who talks like that about their possible divorce? You know, unless the whole thing is a sham. I don't know. I still talk to PCS. Yeah, some people are atheists, let's see, true. My dentist is from Iraq and he's very kind. Nice. People need to respect him as a husband. Yeah, they don't have, I mean, you can like what you like and, you know, think what you want. I don't know why I love when she tells people to can it. It makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> it's such a, like, Cornwall thing to say, can it! Yeah, Shannon, I do. Deborah. Yeah, I mean, it is difficult, like, being in a relationship if you're not well yourself because exactly you like in a marriage you take care of each other but it's you know when you become more unhealthy than the other person then they're there you know it loses the balance like you know i need to have similar energy levels to him like when you become less healthy than the other person it loses the balance you've known him a year and a half this is pretty much the weight he met you at You've gained a bit, but I mean, you know what I mean. What what kind of a delusion are you living in? You, oh my God, it, it, the energy didn't match up from the day you started talking to him and he could hear you fucking mouth breathing into the call. Girl, stop it. The energy didn't match up. I'll tell you when the energy stopped matching up. When he realized you weren't able to make him papers. That's the day the energy suddenly didn't match up. Like I, I believe that for the dynamic to be truly healthy. You know, um, so yeah, like I want to, you can't, you also can't like, unless you like really start loving yourself and taking care of yourself properly, like you can't love somebody truth, like how they truly like deserve to farm boy bees. Yeah, we will for sure. Here's inshallah. <laughs> I do look like Amy Ramadan today. Good. A lot of religions are controlled. Yeah, look at those, like, religious cults. Like, I don't know. So as a 30-year-old healthy male. Yeah, exactly. Eat, pray, bees. Yeah, thanks, Sam. She does say you know a lot. And you know, you know, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to do public speaking. And I used to say that a lot, too, when I was like a teenager, you know, if you know. And they told me it's a lack of confidence in your speaking. You're making a point. You're telling a story or whatever it is. And when you have to keep throwing in that, like, you know, or you know what I'm saying or something, it's because you d you want to make sure everyone's still like following along with you because you lack confidence in what you're saying and the ability you have in saying it, you know? Nope. Get out of here, balls deep. Little doll, when it comes to them. Married 22 years, cherish your freedom. 
Amy Ramadan. No, not with the Legion, just high school. I went to a very fucking like over a TV competitive ass high school. Like Charlie Bucket's grandparents. <laughs> we don't sleep that way. I never said we slept that way. I say we watch movies that way. Because think of it this way. Very simple. You know what? There's very simple. You ever heard of Occam's razor? There's very simple explanations for all of your theories. But you, in, instead you choose to have this experience of making up all this crap, these crap theories that are so weird. They're very extravagant. They're very elaborate. Okay. And, and very inventive. But okay. We watch movies that way because listen, Salah doesn't have a Kirsch Kabir. And in Arabic, a Kirsch Kabir is your big belly and I have a big belly. So he doesn't have a Kirsch Kabir. Okay. He lays like this on his back and watches the movie. Kirsch Krisha, it's a pregnancy belly. It's a pregnant belly, by the way. It's not just a big belly, big pregnant bello belly, but there's never a baby that comes out of it. Damn it. You're right. I do say, you know what I mean a lot. You know why? Because I'm always baked when we do these streams and I lose confidence in what I'm saying when I'm stoned. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no curse in the way. F Fis X. Oh, KT hey, Detroit. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. You think she observed the night? Oh, the night of power. Does she even know what that is? She didn't observe fuck all except breaking the fast every day. And for her, it wasn't even breaking the fast every day because she had been eating all day. Listen, there's no fucking way she knows anything about anything. This, I have my chest and my, my belly in the way of whatever I'm watching, and it's not comfortable. I can't breathe like this. <laughs> so I lay that way, kind of like on my side like a seal, and I look up at the TV. It's on the wall just in front of us. And then Julia, she sleeps like right here by me, and I pet her. Can I walk up to your car? Go for it. On top of that, I'm going to add that, no, there's no fucking way she knows about anything to do. The only things she knows about is what she, she's been told directly by him. He tells her something, she repeats it to the camera. I fully believe that. I think that was proved to us in the performance of her praying because it was put up on Twitter. I told you guys, right? Uh, and told everyone, Google it for yourselves. There's there's movements that you do during prayer, right? And they're different for women and they're different for men. And she was doing the movements of a man. So it's like she clearly was just watching and mimicking what she saw. Yeah. I couldn't breathe watching SJM stream last night where he cooked the plastic dinner. What? He did that again? A seal! Golden ticket in the next falafel order. That's the sight to behold. Oh my God, cave lady shit. You know what? I think it is. Thank you for the super chat. It is. I'm getting mascara. Just look at my eyes. They're beady, especially with these glasses. I look like Bob Saget. I said Bismillah just now. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Look, is Bigfoot here? Eh, eh. Really knows what I'm playing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Luna, thank you for the super chat. Absolutely. Those fillers, right? No fillers. Uh, the weather is shit. I better go. Sort of the language. And my thing keeps falling. Hello, Marquita from Down Under. Trip to the outhouse. It's easy and easy. It sure isn't. Now I have Texas hold them in my head. I need makeup on. Let me put some uh, stuff on. The makeup wouldn't have. What, what the fuck is this? What is she doing? This is a wreck. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, it's making me feel crazy. Oh, she nicks the makeup? Okay. Good, good. Oh, she has lip gloss on. Fantastic. My heart's pounding right now. And I'm blaming her. This is a manic quality to it. I don't like it. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Definitely. Thank you, Alicia. 
Wow, that's so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> Sarah Doctor, I love that name. You look lovely in glasses and stripes too. Thank you. We are so back. Thank you. <laughs> Night call from the draw. Oh yeah. I forget. There's something inside you. It's hard to explain. Is that the one? <laughs> But last night I got really sad, yeah, because I missed my my pets, my husband, and like the life I was living. It. It's just that it's there's some other kind of interfering hardship, whether it's my fault or it's not. It's in my control or it's not. Usually it is. Then that's irrelevant because it does. It's still not a lie. If the the honest intention was to do what you were saying, where you were gonna do, you know what I mean? <laughs> Luxury Villa 2.0. I need to get water. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting, huh? Garage sailing. We think I'm bipolar. I need to get a psychiatric assessment, so I'm in the works on that. I don't know what I was expecting with her return to Canada, but I thought it would be more exciting than this. I'm very let down on day two. God damn it, Chantal. Do something. You better wake up at like two o'clock in the morning and decide you need Arby's now and be like ripping around in that fucking shit box looking for a fast food place that's open. I swear to God, Chantal. Make this trip worth it for us. The Lulu, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> we have to accept this as her content now. No, I refuse. I'm folding my arms like a toddler. No, no, do something. I want to like take a stick and like poke at her. Do something, fuck. Luxury villain. I was annoyed. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm annoyed. It's like uncanny. I can't now. Oh my gosh. P aimbot. Thank you for the super chat girl. No, I I like sometimes I was thinking I want to go back to Kuwait. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like last night. But I worked through it. Because like logically, just right now, this is the best thing for me, especially after I invested a lot of money, you know, in getting here. Um, you know, and my car and just a lot of things. Like, that would just all go to waste. Like, why would I get my car fixed right now if I wanted to go back? Like, it doesn't make sense, you know? I just, like, I have all these plans already set in motion. So, I can't just go back, you know? But, yeah, part of me wanted to run back to what was familiar because, like, after not being here for a year and a half, it doesn't feel that familiar here, you know? I don't know. It feels like things have changed, but they haven't really. It's a weird feeling. I don't know. Remember that <laughs> You guys are mean. I'm not anyone's bummy, but who doesn't want someone to take care of them? You know? Uh, who would want you to take care of them? I don't know. If I was looking for someone to take care of me, they would, you know, I would look at them and be like, can they take care of themselves? Yes. Then maybe they could take care of me. Who would look at you, somebody incapable of taking care of themselves or doing anything and go, that's the person I want them taking care of me. Yes. What the fuck are you talking about? And usually men want that. Yeah, but not so, from you. He wants papers, you idiot. He's not looking for you to be his mommy. <sighs> so blind, man. Some of you are weirdos. Sam, I can't wait to squeeze him. Oh my gosh, I wonder what he's going to think of me. He'll get used to me again. He was close to me. I know people throw this out all the time and stuff and what she could be and what she could be. I am no doctor. Uh, here's the one that I know that it doesn't line up with her being bipolar because her intentions when she does things is so often evil. There's I don't really know how you translate it from French. Malveillant. She has malveillance in her in her like intentions when she does moves and bipolar people although yes their actions can often hurt people around them and stuff they don't do their actions with intent to hurt anybody she fucking does she has evil behind her choices that doesn't line up with bipolar me so i'll never leave him again and julia i'm not leaving her i guess i'm going to take very good care of sam 
You know, I'm not going to like, I'm going to take him to get his nails cut, I think. Although he's a pretty good boy. But that doesn't line up with BPD either. From what I have learned, it doesn't line up with either one. There shouldn't be like a an an evil drive. Malice? Is that the word? Thank you. Malice. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, not, not like malicious intent behind, you know? I don't know. BB, BBJ wasn't because she would always freak out. You know, so... Oh, let's just run that back because I cut that sentence in half and she's talking about a oh, fuck shit. Hold on. You know, I'm not going to like, I'm going to take him to get his nails cut, I think. Although he's a pretty good boy. BB, BBJ wasn't because she would always freak out. You know, so. He's a good boy because he was a young cat and he would work down his nails so they didn't get embedded. So when you would take him to cut his nails, he was just getting normal nails trimmed. BBJ made such a stink about it because her nails were so deeply embedded into her paws. And so she didn't want you touching her feet. Stop it. Stop trying to compare. Stop trying to act all Miss Innocent. And you know, and you know. Yeah, what we know is that you're an animal abuser. And what we know is that you let her nails grow into the pads of her feet multiple times, even though you knew better and you knew that her nails were growing fast. You know, you shouldn't get Sam back. The person who has Sam, assuming it's not your stupid aunt, or your mother or something, if you actually gave that cat to someone and they are now giving the cat back, they are handing that cat back to an animal abuser. And it's a shame that they don't know that. I couldn't do hers, but I think he, he might not remember me. I don't know. Oh, I didn't say that. Yeah, probably Applebee's. That's a great point, Ursinate. She never says a word further than cat's nails. Cat's nails, cat's nails, as if that was the only thing. Never acknowledges anything else. Hi, Tracy Diets. But I don't know for sure, you know? So nice to see you in good spirits. Thank you so much. That's very generous of you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> no, Pepis. And so sit advice, do not fast until you see a doctor or diabetic. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but my doctor already told me the last time I was there in Kuwait, like the medication he's putting me on, I have to drink a lot of water with it and take it with food. So I have it with me in my bag. Geniomet and Cyprolux. Oh, I gotta take that now. La Croix. Whoever said LaCroix and corrected my French is going to get it. It's a Jersey one, Ginny Pondu. Let me, Ginny. <laughs> we are big pills. I got a ticket now. I'm supposed to take it with food. I got to get water. I can't take a big pill like that with soda. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Applebee's. You're right, Lady Elaine Fairchild. <laughs> that was an ugly sound. What a laugh. Oh, yeah, I agree. High in a hijab, high as a kite. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I think that's what she does. She's got, oh, look at her eyes. You can't tell me that's not stoned. She smokes up with her aunt. I do believe she's staying over there, allegedly conspiracy, whatever sort of makes sense and she smokes up with her aunt then she gets in the car and she's got her fucking vape and she drives around and she vapes and uh yeah that's her day what a fulfilling life we're selenia bees i got this fast food bees i just had patties right pixie okay. thank you for the super chat like especially when i first get here you know but Oh, my sciatic nerve. I was just sitting for a while. No, <laughs> I'm not going to move back to the villa. That place had a million stairs. Why, yes, I do. Suzanne, thank you for the super chat. I think she thinks it's cute and quirky. When to the rest of the world, it's just irritating and obnoxious. She thinks it's like, I'm just a quirky girl. Ugh. Courtney, you've been MIA. <laughs> 
Thank you, MJ. Hi, C Mills. Look at all that chin she's suddenly letting out. What is going on? We love again, maybe later. We'll see. The jet lag. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel good. I should be eating healthier. Thanks, not, not, not playing. My face looks sunburned. I have rosacea. Hi, Laurel. I like the glass. I like wearing glasses because they feel like I can see. <sighs> Imagine if you had glasses clear. that fit. Because right now she's seeing a lot of the rim of the glass for nothing. The frame on the side there. You know what I mean? Because they're not sitting where they're supposed to sit. Imagine if your fat fucking face had bought glasses for fat fucking faces. <sighs> wow. It would be so much like better. What the fuck? Waste of money. Luna, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> Chairlift, yeah, right. I want to hover around. I want to be on a hover around commercial. <laughs> I don't know. You ever see those? Am I still jet lag? Yeah, like, I can't, yeah, I just feel so exhausted. I did already eat. <laughs> now you've got me singing Wanna Know That Love Is Well. <laughs> Italian, yeah, I'm pasta. Yeah, Trixie. Yeah, exactly. Canadian time. Thanks, Faye. You guys are sweet. Yes, I'm still married. <laughs> okay. But my relationship, I'm going to keep like completely offline. That's why I removed it also from, I removed that and religion off of my roster in the uh, about. That's what I was talking about. Because also mainly, you know, I like my channel, Foodie Beauty, I didn't want it to be about those things. I wanted it to just be what I put in the description, like, you know, Plus like shopping stuff, shopping stuff, like live stream beezing, just beezing. I just want to bees, like basically. Oh, okay. Well, that makes plenty of sense. So she took those things out of the description and named back to Foodie Beauty because she doesn't want it to be about that anymore. That is not her brand. And by talking about things like religion and stuff, she was going away from her brand. Okay, that makes so much sense. So did she delete the videos that she put out during Ramadan, the performative videos? Hmm. No, look at that. She did not. Uh, the Ramadan 2014, uh, to, oh, wow, 2014, 2024 vlog still up. Iftar at the uh, mall Chinese Iftar and then judgmental Muslim community Ramadan 2024 vlog also still up, which means the, oh, there it is. Ramadan 2024 vlog making Warak Inab the grape leaf video where she prays and fake reads the Quran. She left all that up. But she claims she's taking all that away from her channel. That's why she removed it from the description. And not because she manipulated Takat and her group of subs to sub to her so that she could hit her 100K. And now that she didn't need them anymore, she didn't need all that. But why go back and delete the content, right? How disgusting. You delete that. You say you don't want it to be part of your channel. That's great. We don't want it to be either. Don't bismilla me. And delete that fucking content. It has no business on your channel. It's sacrilegious. Lord of the Fruit Flies, thank you for the super chat. Ooh, good question. I wonder if she had packed the MLM shit. Oh, maybe Yuna Mate is over. So, yeah. You know, wasn't because, like, I broke up with him. I mean, I guess I can't blame people for wondering because, like, you don't live my life so you don't know. So all you, you have to rely on is, like, tea, you know? But no, yeah, I'm still married. If that changes, I'll let you know. I mean, you know. So, but yeah, I'm still married. You know. Um, yeah. I don't think that's, yeah, that's not the real plain cheeseburgers. <laughs> I don't think it's this, the real one, but how can we tell? Beezing is having, just like beezing, there's no, how do we, we have to come up with a definition, but we have to think this through. Are there any scholars here? Hi, Teardrop! Your baby's sitting? Oh, okay, we'll have, no problem, I'm going to get off too, you know, because, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go for now. <laughs> but thanks for saying hi. Have fun with the little ones. I already explained the no ring. I took, the first picture had no ring. Yeah, you already explained it. Don't explain it again. I want to see the no hair too. I want to see the little baby bird, like puffs of hair. Oh, yeah. I don't even know she has that because we're, there should be at least something left of the, the widow's peak. To me, it looks like she shaves her head like with a shape with a razor blade now. I don't know. 
<laughs> the heavy breathing and the you knows are killing your soul. Oh, you know. Because <laughs> I had my ring off at the time. And then I showed it to Salah and he reminded me I had the ring on. So I took another one with the ring on. Ted, oh, it's hi, Ted. <laughs> Behaving in for No, it's not you playing cheeseburger. How can we tell? Well, hello, if it is you. <clears throat> Look at the profile. Do you still have the song of Sam? I can't look at it from here. Well, welcome back, plain cheeseburgers. XXLBs are, oh, welcome back. <laughs> plain cheeseburgers has returned. Interesting. Plain cheeseburgers was one of the trifecta of shit, aka the, holy the unholy trinity. <sighs> huh. You mention them and they pop right back. Isn't that interesting? Where's the other two? I wonder. Hmm. That is really fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? If it's really plain cheeseburger, not somebody just fucking around. Hello. <laughs> I'm glowing. No, uh, that looks like crap. <laughs> Those glasses look so good on you. Thank you. XXLB, sir. That's hilarious. No, it's XX. XXLB, sir. <laughs> no, I'm not divorced. <laughs> I look more alive? I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know. Call out my name. Call out my name. I'm never listening to those songs again. I'm traumatized. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Anything to do with that time in my life? Like, no. Ew. I was asleep for a long time. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of a troll in the chat, I have been informed purple glitter is not EG. Absolutely not EG. Uh, the person is staying anonymous who has informed me, but let me tell you that I 100% believe the person who told me they would know. They played all the sides at that time and stuff. Purple glitter, not EG. Very interesting. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sam is returning, inshallah. Well, when I get my place, I have to let them know, and then I have to go get the big, fat, cute neckbeard beezer. That's how we feel about Kuwait. I guess a lot of you just didn't like it, but I mean, what am I? I can't live my life not doing something. I love, like, I love exploring, you know? But. Hey, Fernanda. I just have things to do. Exploring the long road. Yeah, maybe someday we can do all that. Say so I'm going to be a Muslim weaver. We can get him a dish dasha. Can't wait to see his pink nose. Beach legs! Beach legs! Why did you guys hate Kuwait? I, like, honestly. Just boring? I didn't do enough stuff? I'm not even... It wasn't just the boredom. It was the fake religious arc. Nobody was here for that shit and you forcing it down everyone's throat. Everybody hated Salad long before we knew he was a scat man. This is not a good side character. You're too boring to bring on a boring side character. You are a sponge. You got nothing going on. It means that the side characters you bring on, they got to bring the spice. You know, there was nothing spicy about floppy tits. Boring all around. You never left the house. You never did a goddamn thing. And we were all sick of watching you eat hubcaps of rice. Same meal every day. Nevermore, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Teardrop is the canary in the Delulu coal mine. When she goes, you just know that Chantal has done something. In Ooh. No, I don't think so. I don't. <laughs> no. Um, Just some, like, he was being fostered, Lindsay. Thailand, he's... <laughs> oh, soft spoken Chantel. <laughs> modest bees, modest bees. In. Hmm. Stuck in the house. Yeah, maybe I didn't do enough, you know. Maybe. But yeah. Yeah, my health wasn't much better, eh?
No, I'm not divorced, people. Queen of Peace. I'm back in Canada, yeah. I'm losing the list of the will to live yes, in Kuwait. True. When are you going to get a place? Very soon, hopefully. He's just repeating the same shit over and over. There's two minutes left. I'm going to save us all two minutes of our lives here. Fuck that. God damn. The repetition. Chantal, again, I don't know what I was expecting on day two of your return. You did say that we were going to Pennington's. You said that you were taking us here and there. We've seen nothing. We're parked in the same shitty spot that everybody who knows understands exactly where the fuck you are. You're not being discreet at all if you're trying to hide your location. Let me tell you that one, Chantal. Okay. And for nothing, then, you've not taken us anywhere today. You parked in the same place, you stuffed your face, and you read the chat because you have no friends to talk to. Same old, same old. God damn it, Chantal. Do something. You promised us an outing. I want to see you waddling around a Pennington's or anywhere. Take us to Winners. Take us I don't give a damn. Something. Something. Get Uncle Phil in the car with you. Anything at this point. Come on, man. Fuck. She's still morbidly obese. Yes. Still, come on, something. Come on, they did the car moves. Let's go, man. Where is her sciatica? She forgot she has a sciatica. <laughs> anyway, listen, that was god awful, but I would still rather have her here and it be god awful than god awful Kuwait content. You know what I mean? On the scale of god awful live streams, this was still better than the stuff she was doing in Kuwait. So I suppose I'll take it. But Chantal, fucking do something, man. You got to do, you, you don't, don't waste this trip. Take us, do something. We want fuck shit. Okay. Let's go. If you're getting high, eating all day, not halal food, and you've put, you know, like back burner God and religion for a while, that is great. Lean into it for the audience. Take us out. Show us a good time. Fuck shit. Fuck shit. We're here for fuck shit. It's been a long time. This Kuwait art. You owe us. Come on, Suzanne. Thank you for the super chat. She says, listen again. I don't know, but they do things with evil intention. Mm. I will agree with that one. <clears throat> anyway, y'all listen, despite the shit that she gave us to work with today. Thank you guys so much for being here. It was still a good laugh with you guys, even though she sucks. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, inshallah, tomorrow, she gives us something a little more interesting to work with. Ugh. For tonight, like I said, that's it. <laughs> We're done with the YouTube. We're going to be going live and oh. I don't know, about half an hour. And we're going to play the games over on Twitch. Tomorrow, we'll be doing some retro reacts, rapid fire retro reacts over on Twitch. That's tomorrow. And of course, goes without saying, whatever she gives us to work with in real time, we will be back live right over here tomorrow to watch it together. All right. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your hump days. Get a little humping on if you can on this day. Maybe it'll uh, brighten up the middle of the week. Inshallah. <laughs> Have fun, everybody. Whatever you're doing. Please be safe. And I uh, hope to see you in half an hour to game. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.